Hi, my name is Sam and I go to Beehive Science and Technology Academy. Today I will be doing a air pressure experiment. So for this, for this experiment, um, you will need two ping pong balls, white, orange, pink, doesn't matter, and Play-Doh, you can use Play-Doh or clay. Clay probably will work better, I've had a little bit of trouble using setting this up. And a hair dryer. Steal it from her mom, sister, I don't care. So, for this experiment, we will be testing Bernoulli's, sorry if I said that wrong, um, theory on fast moving air creates low air pressure. So I'll just go ahead and do it. Okay. So for this, you will just never used these before. Okay, so last one was a fail. And so I think what happened was well I on the little stabilizers. Here, uh, they didn't have enough wiggle room, so, you know, they wouldn't move. So, this time, I, moved, I you know, switched it around a bit, but it seems to be that they're, they're, uh, these things are going to give me a really serious migraine. So, round two, let me just kind of adjust these. Oh my goodness, like I said, migraine. Okay, let's just try it anyways. So look, there you go. Okay. Let's try it further for now. Okay. This one seems to be responding better. Not sure why. Alright. Well, as you can see, the ping pong balls. I give up. Okay. So, so the ping pong balls were pushed together um, when the blood dryer blew wind in between the, the ping pong balls. So, how that happens... Oh my god. Okay. So, as I was saying, the blood dryer blows wind in between the two ping pong balls, which creates a lower air pressure. And the air around it still has, it has a higher air pressure. So the higher air pressure pushes the ping pong balls into the lower air pressure. Um, that's and that's basically what Bernoulli um, predicted. That that was his theory. So basically, that's the science behind it. Um, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed.